Today, I'm going to help you set the proper expectations for the first 30 days when running a Google Ads campaign. In fact, these are the exact same expectations that we set with every single new client that we onboard for our agency every single month. By the end of this video, you will know exactly what to expect your first 30 days running Google Ads, whether for yourself or if you have an agency running it for you. So phase one, the build out phase, we're getting everything ready and everything in order to run on Google. So what you're looking at right now is inside a plumbing campaign, right? And this guy just launched in the last 30 days. I believe he turned on uh, December 7th. So it's January 3rd or 4th today, I forget. And this is the build out, right? So what we're looking at is the campaign. So we have to go through and we have to build out all the ad groups and all the keywords associated with each ad group, all of the ads for each ad group. And then we have to structure the campaigns. So that's what you're looking at right now. Go into all the settings, um, set up the locations, the ad schedules, target devices, set up your ad assets, or as I used to be called, ad extensions. And then we have to go and build your landing page. Now, every campaign we work on gets a landing page. And this is mostly how it works for most um, digital marketing agencies. But some want to run your website and you don't want to do that. So keep that in mind. You want to always run to a landing page. It's very important. So that is a part of our build out process. We usually have a 24 hour turnaround time, eh, 24 to 48 hour turnaround time from the time you sign on as a client with us to the time your campaign is fully built and off to you for approval before we hit go and turn everything on. Now, guys, that that varies. OK, we are very, very efficient and fast at what we do. Most other agencies can take anywhere from seven to 10 days to, to get your campaign built out and launched. We have a very um, special way of doing this. Everything that we do is templated so we can move, you know, five times as fast as other agencies. So that's something to keep in mind. So don't let that be the standard. If you're watching this for the first time and don't really know what Google ads is about um, launch time, because you definitely don't want to have expectation that you're going to get it in 48 hours from anyone else besides us. Okay, so that's phase one is building everything out, setting up conversion tracking, building your campaign, building your landing page, and then sending it off to you for final approval. And once you rubber stamp that, then we hit go and we start the campaign. Now let's go into phase two and I'll walk you through what that looks like. All right, so phase two is what we call the learning phase. Now phase two is usually from the moment you hit go, which can be for us up to 48 hours or anywhere else could be up to you know, seven to 10 days, then phase two starts. All right, phase two is all about gathering data, actionable data, clicks, impressions, impression share, leads, cost per lead, all kinds of stuff like that. We want to start getting the wheels moving and start getting data to optimize, which is a later phase, which we'll go into. So phase two, we just call it the learning phase. Now we usually start that in um, one of two ways. We use manual CPC to get the campaign moving fast or we use maximized clicks. That's the two options, bidding options that we start every campaign with during the learning phase because we want to get as much, as many clicks as possible to gather data that we can then take that data and sort through it, sift through it and optimize it to drop down your cost per lead, increase your conversion rates and just cut deadweight keywords that are getting clicks and, and not leading to conversions, which is later in the process. So learning phase is probably the most important phase and also the hardest one for people to deal with because they're just sitting there like, okay, we're getting all these clicks, we're getting all these impressions, we're getting leads, but my cost per lead's too high or I'm not getting enough leads. But they don't understand is the learning phase is not about getting a dialed in campaign in, in, in three weeks. That's just not how it works. That's not how Google works. So you have to set your expectations properly that during the learning phase, which is usually lasts from the moment you launch to about two weeks, right? So 14 days, I would say, is a safe assumption for a, a healthy learning phase where you're getting a bunch of data and then you have something to really start taking chunks out of and biting and optimizing and lowering everything down. So phase two, learning phase is the hardest one for everyone to wrap their head around, but it's the most vital because we're getting actionable campaign data. Like, look at this guy. He started, um, like I said, with, within 30 days ago. We barely optimized this yet because we got so much data. We, we actually just started, I think, this week. So you'll see here, look at all these clicks he got. 447 clicks, 7,000 impressions. Click-through rate, conversion rate, right? His conversion rates are killer. And, and he got leads. So you will get leads during the learning phase. But... 
you know, obviously the cost per lead is going to vary. And he just came out of the gate swinging because, again, this is a template. Everything we do is a template, so we already know what works. But we need the data still to optimize it because everything's every location is different. Every market's different. The prices are different for clicks. So that's why it's so important to let the learning phase do its thing. And that way we can move into phase three where the fun stuff starts. So let's go into phase three. Okay, so we're at phase three. You made it through the learning phase. Congratulations. You've you've took the beatings, right? So now the fun stuff starts. You can actually start sifting through the data and cutting deadweight keywords, keywords that are not converting, keywords that are converting too high, and you can start increasing bids on your winners, possibly switch to an automated smart bidding strategy. It depends on the data you've collected during the learning phase. So phase three is initial optimization begins. Now phase three begins usually around the three to three and a half week mark in running a Google ads campaign. Again, a lot of this is subject to how fast you get your campaign off the ground and running. So let's say, and what I mean by that is, let's say you hire an agency, you're not doing it yourself. You hire an agency from day one from your payment goes through till the day you launch your campaign. Wildly varies depending on the agency you're working with. Could be anywhere from two days to 10 days. So keep that in mind when I'm going through these processes on the campaign optimization phases. So right now you should be around the three week mark with the initial optimization can begin. Now, if we take a look at this account we're in right now, you'll see here we have a, a bunch of data, a bunch of conversion data. So you're gonna start going through and doing things like keyword optimization, right? So we'll go into keywords and we'll start looking, we'll sort by clicks, and initial optimization can be something like, all right, so these words drove, these keywords drove 56 leads, $6 leads, and here's the cost per lead. So we're gonna look for anything that stands out that's just way too overpriced. And for plumbing, I'm, I'm happy with most of these, but here's, oh, here's a good example. This one went zero for 10. Looking for a plumber near me went zero for 10. This is an optimization, which I'm actually gonna make with you guys right now because I'm in here anyway. So that's a keyword that spent $28 and got no leads and went 10 clicks. So if 10 people click an exact match keyword and still don't become a lead, that's a, a rule of thumb for our agency is we're gonna cut you loose and we're gonna save the client that $28. That will go towards allocated towards some other keywords that are driving actual leads. So this is the kind of optimization you can expect. You can do um, pause keywords that are not converting, pause keywords that are converting too high. You can add keywords from your search terms report that are sending you leads that you're not currently even bidding on. You can adjust devices. You can go into and see if you have enough data to set an automated smart bidding strategy like target CPA, right? And that really depends on your goal for the campaign that you discuss with your agency or that you set for yourself in the beginning of um, your Google Ads process. So for us, 137 plumbing leads in the first 30 days at a cost per lead of $22. I'm just gonna take that W. I'm not really gonna do much. <laughs> this campaign is killing it, so I'm not gonna switch the bid strategy. I'm not really gonna do much besides clean up the keywords, cut the dead weight stuff, maybe take a look at the devices, which we can do that together, and see where all the leads are coming from, which traffic source. So we have desktop computers, tablets, and phones. So it looks like out of 137 leads, 115 were from cell phones, right? That's kind of wild. And 22 were from desktop computers, which came in cheaper because we're bidding a little bit down on that, which um, I'm happy with this. I'm not gonna touch any of this stuff. I mean, if I can get $22 leads in the plumbing, niche, I'll take that all day long. So that's the kind of stuff you can expect to have your campaign worked on by phase three, which is the initial optimization phase. Really important. A lot of guys will take this time and they'll just do keyword stuff and maybe some, they won't really mess with the bidding too much. That's more optimization phase four is when you go into like switching to smart bidding and um, which I'll go through in the next part. But Stay tuned till the end because I have something interesting for you guys as well. All right, let's go. Uh, let's take this to phase four and kick this up a notch. So now we're on to phase four, which is optimization of your Google ads campaign, right? So this should take place right around week four of running your Google ads campaign. I know it's, it's a long process, but this is how you build campaigns to stand the test of time and win and continue to flood your business with leads. They have to be optimized. There's just, there's no shortcut. Trust me. If there was, I would know about it. <laughs> All right. So phase four optimization. This is where we do the heavy stuff, right? So we'll look at a campaign and we'll see if there's enough data to make the decision to switch to a smart machine learning algorithm bidding strategy. Or if we're like our plumbing guy here, we're just going to let it ride. 
We'll go into um, device bid optimizations, more keyword optimizations, adding more keywords to expand the campaign. We'll look at locations and what locations are sending and converting the highest, sending them up the highest amount of leads and converting the highest, and we'll increase bids on those. We'll decrease bids on ones that aren't. We'll take a look at demographics and age demographics, and we will turn off demographics that are just clicking and not turning into leads. There's a lot you can do in the optimization phase. It takes four weeks to get to this point, but by this point, your campaign should be pretty dialed in. And I should, I should, I should say this first though. It should be pretty dialed in, but it also depends on the amount of data you have. Obviously, he has 447 clicks. We have a ton of data. So this guy dialed in extremely fast. If he had 47 clicks, it's not going to be that dialed in. We need data. That's the whole point of this process. So sometimes it takes longer than others, and it really depends on your budget and what you're spending to, and how much traffic you're getting. So he's spending 200 a day Monday through Friday. That allowed him to get almost 500 clicks. That's a lot of data that we can optimize. And the, the more data you have, the faster you can dial these campaigns in and start lowering the cost per lead and all that stuff. But definitely by phase four at the four week mark, you should start seeing your cost per lead drastically start dropping down and your conversion rate increasing. And the next phase, which is post click optimization, which can be anywhere from, you know, week five to eight is something we're going to go into next. And that's really cool. So uh, let's check that out. Okay. So phase five, the final phase is conversion rate optimization. What that means, that is post-click optimization. That means, okay, we have a, we have a, we have a problem with the campaign. It's not hitting goals or it's, it's a, hitting a little under goals. So it's not a Google ads problem, right? We've already assessed. We went through a search term data. We went through, we listened to calls. We've, we've checked everything. It's not a lead quality problem. It's, it's a volume problem and it has to do with the conversion rate being too low. So that's when we will deploy post-click optimization strategies or conversion rate optimization, which simply means, we are tweaking the landing page. We're A-B testing different versions. We're switching out headlines. We're changing images. We're changing copy. We're adding click the call buttons. We're doing all kinds of optimizations on the landing page itself because we've already isolated that it's not a Google Ads problem, right? So then the next step is the landing page. Ads to landing page. So Google Ads really is all about message match, right? Plumbing campaign. Our ads all talk about each ad group has drain cleaning, right? Oh, have a clogged drain? We can have plumber on site in 60 minutes. They go, they, they're like, oh, okay, I have a clogged drain. They click our ad, go to the landing page. Hey, we can, we can have a van out near your location. We can be there in 60 minutes. Fill out this form. Call this number. Message match straight through the campaign. That is the most important part. So if all of that's dialed in from the, from the campaign side and it's going to the landing page and it's hitting a wall and the traffic's bouncing off that, then we have a post-click optimization problem. And that's when we'll deploy phase five. And this doesn't, we don't do this for everybody. Like obviously you're, the guy you're looking at right now doesn't need that. He has no issue. He's converting at 30%, getting super cheap leads. So he's a great example of somebody who won't even do phase five. There's no point for it. But let's say his leads were $170 and his conversion rate was 4%. He obviously has a conversion problem. And, and the campaign stats look good, then it's a landing page problem. So that's when we go into that kind of stuff. Pretty interesting stuff, right? And a lot of the agencies, believe it or not, don't even do this stuff, which is totally crazy to me. All right, guys, I got one more cool thing for you, and that is a video that's about to pop up. It's about landing page optimization tactics that we implore. It's a video I just made recently walking you through a campaign and landing page that converts at over 50 five percent which is insanity so make sure you watch that video and i actually show you a live example of a landing page and you can see how we do it and um exactly what i walk you through all the steps so check that out don't forget to like this video subscribe to our channel we drop google ads content every day i'll see you guys in the next video <music>